trying to get better competitive Pokemon can be quite overwhelming, especially if you're new into the competitive scene or just the franchise in general. There's just so much stuff, such as typing, stats, abilities, EVs and IVs, and a bunch more you need to learn and understand. I started playing competitive Pokemon almost one and a half years ago, so I'm no near perfect, but I understand what situation you are standing in, since I once wore your shoes, or maybe I'm in them now. So let's unwrap how you can become a better competitive Pokemon player, no matter your skill level. Tip number one, play the game. So playing the game will automatically make you a better player over time. However, in the beginning, it can be very frustrating because there's such so much new content you need to learn and understand. This applies to if you are both a new player to the competitive scene or if you are an experienced player, because sometimes when the format changes, you might still need a bit of practice before you actually fully understand them. However, by just playing the game, you will start to understand what moves are super effective into what Pokemon and what moves are seen a lot of different Pokemons. By playing the game in general, you will start to maybe being able to see a metagame form. To ensure everybody understands what I mean when I say the metagame is I'm talking about what Pokemons are being used to most and essentially most of the times is also the strongest one. I mean, at least for the format which is going on currently. By playing the game regularly, you will slowly start to understand what Pokemon works great against certain Pokemons. For example, it would not be smart to bring an Urshifu up against a Fluttermane because Fluttermane is a fairy type which goes super effective into the fighting type or even dark type of the Urshifu. In general, by playing the game, just like any other thing, you'll gain experience over time, just like football players do on the field when they practice every day or when you go to school and learn. Tip number two is watching streamers or YouTubers. Watching YouTube videos of streamers who play the game can enhance your understanding of the game and certain plays. Usually streamers or YouTubers when they play the game will tell you during the video or the live stream while they're making certain moves or why they're hard predicting in certain situations. If they're live streaming, you can ask questions even in real time in the chat and they will be able to answer specific questions which relate to more to where you are in your learning process of the game. Even if the streamers didn't tell you why they went for this play, you can ask them in the chat, why did you make this play? They'll most likely answer you why they did. If you have specific questions such as how to EV train in Pokemon, you can also just search that up on YouTube. In fact, I actually have already made a video about how to EV train in Pokemon for an example, and I'm looking into making more explaining videos just like this one as well, so let me know what you would like to see next. In general, ask yourself before they go for mood, what would you go for and then evaluate why you would. And if they agree, that's good, but if they don't, then try and ask yourself why did they not go for this move, but did it work for them? As I said before, often YouTubers and streamers will explain while they play why they went for this specific play, and if they don't, just ask down in the chat, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to answer you. Tip number three, use rental teams. When your journey begins in competitive Pokemon, I would not advise you to worry about learning how to build a team as to go a lot of thought, process, and evaluation into each decision made on your team. Basically, if you knew, you won't have the knowledge to do so, so you're way better off just renting someone else's team. Also, by renting someone else's team, you can see what is good in the current format. This also ensures that you're using a team which you know are good because it's either won a tournament or made it for you into. If you don't know where you can get yourself rental teams, Victory Road always posts tournament winning teams on their websites, which I'll leave down in the description below. You can even find teams on Discord X, whatever you want to call it, Discord, or social media in general. Tip number four is joining your community. Joining a community can be a really good idea for you because there's usually be discussions in there and rental teams posted. You can join things on either Reddit, Discord or Facebook for an example, but it's totally up to you. There's so many different options. In these groups, if you're in doubt of something, ask why is Incineroar so strong for an example, and you'll get a bunch of different answers from people. And by gathering all their information and ideas, you'll understand why it is. You can even ask specific questions in the group about competitive Pokemon which you're unsure about and you usually get a bunch of different answers. Also, other people will be posting in the group, so maybe some of these posts will relate to you and you can just kind of follow along and then gather your own information from them. Tip number five, which is also the final tip, get a coach. I feel like this is probably the most effective one, but it's definitely also the most expensive one considering it is the only one that is not free actually. The good thing with coaching though is that they'll be working one on one with you and they'll be able to analyze why you went for different places and then tell you in real time 
you should not go for this play. You should go for this one instead because this is a better option because blah, blah, blah. So truly coaching is probably the best way to get better at the game. But as I said, it is also expensive. I hope this video helped you even if you're new to the competitive scene or if you've been a part of this community for quite a while. Until next time, happy gaming.